the main purpose of the protein sequence comparison is to find the structural and functional similarities between the two proteins in a biological active proteins it is not necessary that the sequence alignment may have a very high score sometimes it happens that biologically related proteins may give a very less alignment score means that the amino acids they do not match with each other although they are biologically related proteins even then we will try to find the adequate similarities between these two proteins even if they have a less alignment score so if sequence similarity is weak between the uh, two sequences of the protein it means that the alignment will not be able to find the biological active sites or similar sites between these two proteins and main reason is that that the pairwise alignment will fail to score a statistic statistical significant value of that pairwise alignment so the uh, comparison of the multiple proteins at the same time will solve this problem and we can even find the uh, functions of the proteins that are not visible in the pairwise alignment we can see here the three sequences of the genes number 1 2 and 3 and we can see here that this is the multiple sequence alignment of these three sequences of genes and in this we can see very clearly that some of the nucleotides that are same at particular position for example if we see the first nucleotide this is second nucleotide we can see that there are gaps at this position at gene number 1 but at the position of gene number 2 we can see that at the position number 1 and 2 there are two adenines and similarly at position number 1 and 2 of third gene we can see that it is adenine at position number 2 so we can see here the adenine and adenine they will align with each other and they have a plus 1 score similarly at position number 3 we can see all three are thymines and similarly we can follow in this direction and we can see which amino acid is aligning with the nucleotides of the other genes but sometimes we can see here there is a symbol of cross it means that the nucleotides present at a particular position they are not of the same type at this position at in the gene number 2 is lies the guanine and at the same position at the gene number 3 is the thymine so when the two nucleotides are different from each other a cross we will write the cross we can see here also here and these gaps means that these gaps are created to align these nucleotides so if we have v1 to vk be the k strings of length n1 to nk over an alphabet a let a prime donates the extended alphabet a union and this symbol of gaps and this a multiple alignment of strings v1 to vk is specified by k into n matrix where n is greater than maximum 1 less than equal to i and less than equal to k and i each element of the matrix is a member of a prime and each row i contains characters of v i in order interspread with n2 n1 so the every column in the multiple sequence alignment matrix we have constructed is a generalized of the pairwise alignment matrix to k greater than two sequences so if we want to do the multiple sequence alignment the k should be greater than 2 as in this case we have seen we have three sequences of dna so the score of the multiple alignment is defined to be the sum of scores of columns with the optimal alignment being the one that maximizes the score 
So just as it was we have studied previously the consensus of an alignment is a string of the most common characters in each column of the multiple alignment as we have seen previously that in the multiple sequence alignment the alphabets should be identical then it means they are conserved. So at this point we will use a very general scoring function that is defined by a k dimensional matrix delta of size a prime into into a prime that describes the score of all possible combinations of k symbol form a and previously we have studied that if we have a pairwise alignment then we have we will return like this a prime into a prime this is for pairwise alignment but we have if we want to consider the multiple sequence alignment then we have to consider a prime into into a prime 